So Cletus is outside starting a fire and getting it all ready for dinner tonight. And I've got a mess of beans that we're going to fix up. And I got them all soaking in the water and they're ready to go. And um, I'm going to cut up a couple onions and um, we're going to, I got a ham bone left over from Easter ham that I put in the freezer. So that just a couple weeks ago. So we're going to put that ham bone in there. And when, when we bought this house, we got us um, a cast iron Dutch oven. And we've been dying to use it. Last year, our buddy up the road here, him seasoned it all up for us and cleaned it all up and put it in his fire and got it all ready to go. We ain't never cooked nothing in it. So tonight, we are going to feed the camp beans. And we're going to make um, pizza beans. And I think it's going to turn out real good. I hope so. But um, if it don't rain, it's always going to rain whenever we have this kind of stuff going on. But we're going to um, put the ham bone in there and these beans, these are 16 beans soup thing and then you just, right when they're done cooking then you put in um, a can or a couple cans, well in this case I'll put a couple cans in of um, diced tomatoes in a can and I like to get the ones with the chilies in them because it gives it a fire roasted little chili taste and then on the fire it's going to put that smoke in there and, oh, I'm going to be so good. I can't wait. So, we're going to get started on that. And I will record when they're all done. So, you can see how it all turned out. I hate cutting onions. <laughs> it hurts my eyes. I hate cutting onions. Oh, I hate it. And bacon. I forgot to tell you we're adding bacon. Can't have beans without bacon. What are you, crazy? Okay, well, got the beans on the bar. And Cletus is stirring them up there. I don't know how well you can see them in there or not. There they are. Um, and we got the big old ham bone in there and some bacon and the beans. And uh, they're getting hot now. And he's, a, he's a stirring them up. He's doing good. So, them should be ready. And I don't know four or five hours maybe hopefully so that's where we're at gotta go start making cornbread next pull me a piece of that ham up out of there Cletus I'm tasting is it hot yeah yeah ow 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 okay so I'm making my cornbread and I just buy the jiffy because or the jiff whatever it is because um, it's the easiest to use and it tastes the best so I make mine up in these little um, 8x8 pans it fits in my uh, oven my little convection oven I have on the porch and I got the bright idea <laughs> to put tin foil and line it in there so then when it's done I can just pull it right up out of there and just wipe my pan clean and I'm done I know everybody else probably already does that, but that's a new one for me. So I was excited about that. Cletus told me about that. So I um, just thought I'd share. Okay, so I thought I'd better tell you all exactly what I'm using in my bean dinner tonight. Because um, I know some of you are going to say pizza beans. What the heck is pizza beans? And, how, you know, I'd like to have the recipe because them look so good. And uh, so I just go to the Kroger. And I get me these 16 or 15 bean, either one, don't matter, it's the same thing. And you open it up and there's that little package of ham seasoning in there. Take that thing and you throw it away because you don't need that crap. And then you take and cook your beans. Soak them overnight, overnight. And then you, you cook your beans just, you know, in a crock pot or on a fire or whatever. And, and then about 20 minutes before you're going to serve them, you get your a can of um, green or I'm sorry diced tomatoes with green chilies and this is the brand that we use this time just because it was at the Dollar General's and because that's all we could get 
because we forgot to buy it before we came down. And then, um, then you can just top it with whatever you want. Um, when when it comes. Okay, Cleta, thanks, honey. Um, then you just put the beans in your bowl and and put like um, foot cheese or I mean Parmesan cheese. We call it foot cheese because it smells like feet. And then um, mozzarella and on, extra onions or extra tomatoes or or um, mushroom or peppers or you know whatever you would want on a pizza you just put that on top and I'm telling you it tastes just like a pizza but it's in a bowl and it's beans so there you go that's that's the recipe <laughs> as far as it is and they say that one bag of beans will feed 10 people so um one bag of beans would feed about four people in all honesty so that's really the way you should look at it so we got 20 people coming so I got four bags of beans I don't do math okay well our bean dinner turned out pretty good we have about 14 people here and about five puppy dogs and um, everything it was it was really really good we did um, two probably three bags of beans and um, four cans of the tomatoes in there and we did um, four boxes of the cornbread which made two two of the eight by eight pans full and um, I think everybody really enjoyed them and we all sit around the fire and talked for a good long time and and um, it's starting to get dark now and skeeters are starting to come out so I had to come in and put on some pants and get ready for the evening but um, overall I think we all had a really good time so um, I highly recommend making the pizza beans at your next gathering at your camp or home reunion or whatever you're gonna do and um, just remember, if you need anything, just holler. Lulu's right here.